Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the perfect red lips for this holiday season. In order to get perfect red lips, we need perfect lips. So I'm going to start with exfoliating. You can use a toothbrush or any lip scrub you'd like, but I'm using this sugar scrub from e.l.f. You want to buff off any rough and dead skin cells, so applying a balm or Vaseline before will help soften the skin so the scrub can do its job. It's best to moisturize and exfoliate in the shower and always, always finish with a lip balm. If you didn't get everything off with the scrub, you can take a washcloth and help assist it. Almost as important as soft lips is priming, and I'm going to show you my two favorite options. You can use a lip primer over your balm to decrease feathering and keep your lipstick from bleeding. I especially love this for my glosses and satin lipsticks, but you can use this for any lip method. The one I'm using is from e.l.f. Cosmetics, and it's really inexpensive, but it's really effective. And this is a great option if you want to test the waters in lip primers. Probably the easiest way to prime your lips is to cover them with a little bit of concealer or your leftover foundation. For matte lips, you can set it with a translucent powder, and this method is especially great if you have trouble lining your lips. For perfect red lips, you want to line them first with a lip liner. For the classic red, use a red lip liner, or for a more ombre lip, choose one a few shades darker and just fill in the inner corners in the top and bottom part of your lips. The easiest way to apply your lipstick or lip stain is straight from the tube and to blend. For a long lasting and brighter lipstick color, fill in your lips completely with your lip liner. This is also a great way to vamp up your lip gloss. For a more precise application, you can use a lip brush. My favorite one is by Vo Techniques and it's really inexpensive. If you're a beginner or just want a little extra help with blending colors, this is the way to go. It's really easy and it gives you really precise lines. No matter what lip you're doing, you always want to clean them up with concealer. Use a shade close to your skin tone and make sure to blend out the edges because you don't want it to look like you just stuck concealer around your lips because that's not cute. Now I'm going to show you some of my favorite red lip products. First is this really moisturizing Revlon Balm Stain in the shade Romantic and I love this product because it leaves behind a really nice red color on your lips long after the gloss wears off. This L'Oreal Colorache in Cardinal Plume is great for a light wash of color and a nice glossy sheen. This Candy Apple Revlon Lip Butter is so creamy and it's extremely moisturizing on the lips. One of my holy grail lip gloss companies, Black Opal, did not disappoint with this fabulous lip gloss. It's a really gorgeous red with flecks of gold shimmer. It'll make your lips look super voluptuous. This e.l.f. matte lip color in rich red is definitely an unsung hero in my collection. It's really inexpensive but extremely pigmented, but you definitely want to make sure that you apply a moisturizer first because once it dries matte, it can get a little drying. This NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Corella is a gorgeous brown based red, not your typical blue based. And I love the fact that it's in pencil form because it makes it really easy to apply. Yeah. 
Of course, I had to include a NYX matte lip cream. And if you aren't familiar with them, I would definitely recommend heading to your local Ulta or beauty supply store and checking them out. This one is in the shade Amsterdam. If you don't have this Wet n Wild Mega Last in Red My Mind, you need to drive to your drugstore, your local Walmart, wherever Wet n Wild is sold, and pick it up. You will not regret it, but you will if you don't moisturize your lips first. This Revlon Cream Lipstick in Certainly Red is a gorgeous satin finished lipstick if you're not really into the matte finishes. Next is his Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in Red Velvet, and this is more of on the pinky side, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. Also from Wet n Wild is Stoplight Red, and this is your classic blue base red, a great cheap alternative for Max Ruby Woo lipstick. Speaking of MAC, this is my absolute favorite red lipstick, so much so I bought three of them. And this is MAC's Riri Woo lipstick. I haven't personally gone out and bought Riri Woo because I love Riri Woo. LA Girls Forever Red is a really gorgeous lip liner if you're looking for something that's inexpensive but a classic red. NYX's Hot Fred Lip Pencil is another great inexpensive alternative. Cherry Lip Pencil by MAC is by far my favorite and it's definitely worth the investment because when it comes to lip liners, that is something that MAC does extremely well. NYX's Plum Lip Liner is one of my holy grail products for a more berry red lip color, it's great for a really soft ombre lip. For a more brown red lip, Max Burgundy Lip Liner is a great alternative. Last but not least, the most notorious lip liner for the ombre lip is Max Night Moth. And you guys, please excuse my lips. At this point, they were not happy with me. <laughs> Now that I have my perfect red lips, it's time to take a selfie. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.